How you guys? It's your girl, Class Queen, back with another video. If you're new here, welcome. If you're oldie, welcome back. All right, you guys. So this video here, I'm going to be talking about some men fragrances. So I have a couple of men perfumes over here that's smelling good. And this is all for Valentine's Day. I mean, it don't have to be just for Valentine's Day, but these scents here that I picked out to show you guys today, I feel like they're so good for Valentine's Day. Like, I'm telling y'all. Y'all will really fall in love if you smell this on your man. So, let's just go ahead and hop into all these good smelling perfumes. So, I'm going to start off with one of my top favorite perfumes for men. And that would be Tom Ford Ombre Leather. And it looks just like this, y'all. Just look at that bottle. Tell me this don't scream business, man. Baby business man and that's who it's for baby you gotta be on your ish the word this and this smells so freaking good y'all i'm telling y'all let me show y'all what it's spray like that is what the out of my oh my god baby you gotta be grown and sex this ain't for no little boys baby this for the grown men and i'm telling y'all they gotta be on their ish they gotta have that money if your man have this in his collection then you already know what i'm talking about baby this will draw you in for all the men who watch me and you're trying to find that good smelling perfume that you want to wear for your woman go ahead and pick up this tom Ford if you don't have it already run to the stores i'm telling y'all this that boss ish and she will be all over you this hair smells so freaking good tom ford they have a lot of good smelling perfumes for men but this one here it's like one of my favorite the perfumes that I am showing you guys, this is from my husband collection. And this is one of my favorite perfumes that I love for him to wear when we go out on our dates. This that nightcap right here, y'all. Mm, it smells so freaking sexy. So let me just hop into the notes and let you guys know what he got in them. So again, this is the Tom Ford Ombre Leather. You do get that leather smell when you first spread. It give me kind of like that new car smell, but you getting a new man, you know? Yeah. The top notes in here are cardamom. Middle notes are leather and jasmine sunbat. Base notes are amber, moser, and patchouli. So if you want your man to be smelling all good, and for my fellas, if y'all want to be smelling all good, go ahead and pick this up. And this here, this is a good scent also to buy your man for Valentine's Day. So if he do not have this in his collection, go ahead and pick it up. I feel like you can blind by this. This would be for everybody. Like everybody, my husband gets so many compliments when he wear this perfume. It smells so good, top notch. Go ahead and pick it up. Okay, so the second male perfume that I'm going to be talking about, I feel like a lot of men probably already have it in their collection. If you know, you know. You already probably know what I'm finna say. And that is the Sauvage Dior. Y'all, y'all know they, they hype this up for me. They hype it up. And I'm telling y'all, it's it's worth the hype. It is. I feel like this never get old. Just like how they do the Baccarat now, this is what they was doing with that Sauvage. Mm, 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 baby, this perfume is so freaking sexy to me. And this is another one of the top perfumes that my husband wear that I just love, baby. He would throw this on after the shower. Y'all already know what happened next, baby. But I love this perfume. So for my women out here, if you looking to buy your man a perfume for Valentine's Day and you really don't know what their style is, just pick up some Sauvage. But you want to make sure he don't have it already because a lot of men do have this. And this Sauvage here, it can be a signature scent. This is something that he can wear every day. Um, he can wear it shopping. He can wear it to work. He can wear it to bed. It's like an all of a scent. But yeah, let's just go ahead and hop into the notes real quick. So the notes in here, Sauvage Dior, the top notes are Calibrin, Bergamot, and Pepper. Middle notes is Citron Pepper, if I'm not butchering it. Um, lavender it has pink pepper in it, vetiver and patchouli. Base notes are ambroxan, cedar, and lavandum. I'm probably butchering this. I don't know what the hell, whatever in it, it smells good. Go ahead and pick it up, my ladies, for your man. If you're trying to find him something for Valentine's Day, run to the store and pick up this Sauvage. Thank me later. He will love it. So the next man fragrance that I will be talking about is this Replica Jazz Club. This, y'all, if y'all haven't jumped on the bandwagon with Replica scents, they scents smell so freaking good. Y'all, just go get one for my women's. Y'all need to try that um, bubble bath. It smells so freaking good. But yeah, this Replica here, 
is Jazz Club and it is for men. Another very sexy scent. Although it's for men, I actually wear this scent and I do get compliments when I do wear it because I feel like it's good for men and women. I just love how they make their bottles. And as you can see, it do tell you that it is a male fragrance on here. Um, it lets you know when it was made. And this one here, it is made from Brooklyn. And it was made in 2013. Um, it has a, the fragrance description on here, which is a heady cocktails and cigars. So, y'all already know that me boss man shit. So, but this bottle is just so freaking classic and pretty to me. It does not come with a top. Well, I don't think they do, but the two replicas that I have, they did not come with a top. They're just made just like this. So, I think all of them like that. I don't know, chat. I did not go in the store and buy it. I automized offline. But like I said, it is made for men. But I feel like it can be unisex because I wear it all the time. Um, so let's just go ahead and hop into the notes. So the top notes in here are pink pepper, neroli, and lemon. Your middle notes are rum, jewel vetiver, and cherry sage. Base notes are tobacco leaf, vanilla bean, and styrax. Y'all, these notes, I'm probably butchering them, but it is what it is. Um, y'all, Y'all get the vibes. Yeah, I get the vibes. But ladies, this is another perfume that you can add to your man collection if you're trying to grow his collection or you just feel like you want to find him a gift. And for my men that are watching, this is another good sexy perfume that you guys can wear on Valentine's Day if you're trying to get that ass. Smells so freaking good, you guys. It's grown and sexy. Most of these perfumes that I'm showing you guys, they're very much for nighttime. Uh, except the Sauvage, it, you can wear this, like I said, throughout the day. But I, I like for my man to wear it at nighttime, baby. And this time four, again, I know I'm going backwards. But this time four, again, I did not mention, this is a unisex here. I do not wear this because I don't like it with my chemistry. I just love it on my husband. I don't I don't like it. It's just a different scent when I wear it. But like I said, they say it's unisex, but just just leave it for the men. Leave it for the men. Okay, so let's hop into this fourth scent. And the fourth scent that I'm going to be talking about, it is bond number nine. And this is the centerpiece for men. Now, this, although it is for men, I feel like a woman can wear this also if you love, I mean, some women do love those masculine scents, which I love for my home to smell masculine, but like my candles and things like that. But far as my perfumes, I love to be, I love for them to be sweet, but depending on where I'm going, I will wear a stronger scent like this. So I have worn this out before and I feel like it do very well with my body chemistry, but yeah, I feel like this is so sexy for a man. When I smell this on the man, it smells so freaking good, especially on my husband. Um, Again, this is bond number nine. Let's just go ahead and hop into the notes real quick. So the top notes in here are pineapple, juniper berry, and bergamot. Middle notes, current bugs, base notes, cedar, and vetiver. It's not many notes in here, I feel like, but yeah, this smells so good. Bone number nine, it never disappoint me. I love bone number nine in their male sense. I don't too much like their women's sense. I do not own a bone number nine in women's. I have smelt it, but I don't know. They just don't smell as good as the men's sense. So if I were to buy a bone number nine, it would be a man's sense. So this bone number nine here is just green. Grown man, sexy. He on his ish and baby, he ready to do whatever. Women, go ahead and pick this up for your man. If you're looking for a sexy fragrance for him to wear, go ahead and pick it up. Okay, y'all. So this last scent that I'm going to be talking about, I'm probably finna butcher this name. I love this scent so freaking much, but don't come for me if I butcher this name. And it is by Nishani and it is called Hashivat. I believe that's what the name is. This is what the bottle look like. So freaking gorgeous. Look at that. So freaking sleek. And it does have their logo on the top, Nishani. Nishani, they also have some pretty sexy scent for men. I love Nishani. Oh my God, y'all, this smells so good. Mm, this is one of my favorite. Next to my Tom Ford, I love when my husband spray his Nishani. It smells so freaking good, y'all. Like, you don't have to mix this with anything. Go ahead and get you a little sample. I feel like this perfume here is not a signature scent. 
This is like the day night scent for my men. If you wear this perfume right here, do not wear it for everybody. Do not wear this perfume for everybody. I feel like this perfume here is just for someone that is very special in your lifetime. Seriously, don't wear this for everybody. But if you're going to like a dinner day or to a ball or you know, somewhere somewhere special, that's when you pull this out. Like this smells so freaking good. You don't want to save you. You don't want to waste this perfume. Do not waste this perfume for your groupies. Don't don't waste it. Don't do it. She ain't worth it. Make sure you only wear this perfume here for your loved one. But ladies, again, if you're looking for a perfume for your man, go ahead and pick this up. This is a very good perfume. This perfume here, it could be a blind buy also, and it's very masculine. So let's just go ahead and hop into the notes real quick. This perfume here, again, it is by Nishane, and it is a unisex. Believe it or not, it is a unisex. And when I smell it, it's just giving me boss man, like sexy boss man. That's what it's giving me. I would not wear this perfume, but I love it on my husband. I really do love it when he wear this perfume out. I spray it on myself. It smells good, but it's nothing that I would wear out as a woman. But they say it's a unisex. So for my women out there that do love to smell masculine, you can you can wear this. It is a unisex. So the top notes in here are pineapple, grapefruit, and bergamot. Middle notes, cedar, patchouli, and jasmine. And you have your base notes, which is oak moss, and it has some woody notes in here. But yeah, far as the unisex again, this Nishane, this is a unisex. Um, you got your Tom Ford. This also is a unisex and replica. They say it's for men, but I feel like it could be a unisex too. So for my women. Go ahead and pick all three of these up because you and your man can actually share that perfume. And I feel like if y'all going out on a dinner date, you both can spray that perfume and y'all can be, you know, y'all know some of my women, y'all like for you and your man to dress alike. So why not smell alike also? So those three perfumes there, they are unisex, perfect. But if I had to choose only one perfume out of this whole collection to buy my man for Valentine's Day, it would be this Tom Ford. Smells so freaking good. I'm telling y'all, if y'all go out and buy this, go out tomorrow, y'all. But y'all run out and buy this perfume, go to your dealers, your Macy's, your Sephora, wherever you get your perfume from, from, and go ahead and pick this perfume up, smell it in store. I'm telling y'all, y'all gonna be taking it home. But well, make sure he a boss nigga, because only boss niggas wear this. You feel me? So now that we're at the end of this video, I'm just going to show you guys what is my scent of the day, what I'm smelling like, and y'all already know, it's your girl Gucci Bloom. I love me some Gucci Bloom. Y'all not had to tell y'all about what my scent of the day is. It smells so freaking lovely. For all my new subscriber, this Gucci Bloom, it is my signature scent. I love it for me. I love it. It do so well with my chemistry, but it is not, do not go out and blind buy this perfume because a lot of people do not like this perfume. Uh, although I get a lot of compliments on it with my chemistry, if you just go into the store and smell it, you may like it, you may not. So do not blind buy that Gucci Bloom. Make sure you go into the store and smell it first. But yeah, you guys, that's it for this video. Make sure you hit that like button. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you've been watching and you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I have so many perfume videos coming soon. My next video that I'm going to be talking about is for my younger men, the younger crowd. So if you have a teenage boy or, you know, a nephew or something like that, and you really looking to buy him some fragrance, go ahead and check out my next video. That's what I'm going to be talking about. Stay tuned. Hit that notification bell so y'all know when I get ready to upload that video. And until next time, bye.